Does anyone know what a stereo synthesizer is? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. As late as the 1970s, much of the materials that were distributed to radio stations for broadcast were in mono. This included the majority of radio commercials, pre-recorded radio features, and also 45 RPM records. Just as the television industry today looks for ways to have their audio program be in 5.1 surround, the stereo FM stations then wanted to be able to broadcast stereo programming. One popular solution came from the electronics manufacturer Orban. The device was called the Model 245F Stereo Synthesizer. It used comb filtering to enhance certain frequencies on one side while attenuating those same frequencies on the opposite side. The result was that certain frequencies were dominant in the left while others were more dominant in the right, so that the Model 245F essentially synthesized the stereo signal from a mono source. Because the filtering was equal and opposite side to side, meaning that whatever was added to one side was removed from the other, when the two sides were summed in mono, the result was that there was no change in sound from the original mono signal. Today with DAWs, there are plugins that can do this, and it can even be done using pairs of channels with EQs set to replicate the comb filtering, which can make certain tracks recorded in mono sound more stereo. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.